We had a good harvest of coyotes last year, stir fries galore, and tenola. We tried to overwinter it, to extend its life to this year. Was it a success? It's time for the final report. You're watching Cal Juan Kitchen and Garden, a channel dedicated to garden to plate experience. In this channel, we grow, cook, and share. Let's join Romulo at the garden. What an unlikely place to make the intro, you might be saying. Yes, the lighting conditions are not perfect at this time of the day. But I need to give you an update. Do you remember that we planted chayote last year? Yes, they were perfect. And we even attempted to preserve them for this year by covering them with hay. Now, did they survive? That's a question. Let's visit the sites. We're here. This was the plant that I potted. Do you think it survived? You can read it from my face. No. Despite this height of hay or straw that I used to cover it, it did not survive the winter. The winter was not very harsh. I think it was just too wet. I don't understand why a friend of mine, Rose, just about 20 kilometers from here to the south, was able to overwinter her chayote. And this came from her chayote, from that chayote that returned. I don't know what went wrong. <laughs> I don't know what went wrong. As gardeners, we are indeed under the mercy of nature. So, for this year, another experiment, I'll be bringing this home to overwinter it there, better protected. There are two more, uh, three more even, three more coyotes that I covered with hay or with straw. Let's see if they were able to survive. S same story here, it also died. Just a few meters from there, from the second, I also had one hay covered with hay. It also died. It did not survive, I should say. This was the plant. Hmm. There's another, our last chance. It's there. It's at the back of the shed. While we walk towards the back of the shed, I'd like to invite you to some cultural tours, my latest. Halstead, the most beautiful village in Europe, is so beautiful that the Chinese copied it entirely. The Alcazar of Sevilla, a UNESCO heritage site. The Cologne Cathedral, one of the biggest in the world. And the Musik Verein, Vienna's, if not the world's most beautiful concert hall. The Semana Santa processions in Sevilla and our very own in Tramuros, in Manila. This places events and cultures in my barrio, my mundo. See you there. We're here, as you can see with this depth of hay, it looks very protected. <laughs> and it's curious, let's dig it out. Not dig it out, but let's uncover it. Negative. Yes, we are not successful. But I'm hopeful that this year I can overwinter the 
single Toyota plant by bringing it home. Don't cry Romulo, let's cheer up because there are other plants here. Plants that are endemic to this part of the world which I'm sure will bear fruit this year. I might as well show them before saying goodbye. The peas are about to flower. And to extend harvest I have here planted a month later. Dahlias. Cabbages and baksoy or pichai. Sweet corn. And let's head to the polytunnel. Welcome inside. Ampalaya or bitter gourd here. Some dahlias potted. The ampalaya. Another ampalaya. Tomatoes. So again, thank you for joining me here at the garden today for this Toyota update. Until next time and see you in the next video as we grow, cook and share here in California. Again, thank you for joining me here today at the garden. I'd like to leave you now with some scenes from the garden.